Mom, Dad, you, you have no idea how much we've been looking forward to your visit. And what are you doing now? I'm stirring it. Run a step aside and let an expert do it. Earl admitted, I bet you've just been waiting for your mother to get here to do it right for you, haven't you? <laughs> what? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you get us anything besides rabbit food? You know you're supposed to have three to five servings of fresh fruits and vegetables every day. This is going to tick him off, but for his colon's sake, he needs to hear it. Not to mention grains, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. <laughs> that doesn't leave a lot of room for Twinkies. <laughs> You know, I do just fine with what I eat. You sound like those flower child parents of yours. My family's been eating Big Macs for generations. And we all live into our 90s. Well, it's really selfish the way you eat. If you have a heart attack, I'll be the one stuck spoon feeding you. Oh, so I'm selfish? Well, if it were up to you, we'd be eating bird seed and tofu. What was it they called you as a kid? Weird? You know what that makes you, Heather? Weird. Weird, weird, weird! You know how that makes yeah, me Yeah, yeah, I do! Oh, don't go stomping off like a baby! Heather! Heather, stay here and talk to me, will ya? Oh, okay, okay, fine! Just go dance naked in the woods with the rest of your Looney Tunes family! For all I care! God! I'm freaking out here! How did things get so out of control? Dang the evil in-laws are gone. Those are my parents you're talking about. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the boys are at a lock-in with the youth group. Now it's just us. It's like I don't count. Hello. Terry asked me to tape this for him. Well, you should have said you'd only do it if he cleaned up his room. Oh, look, he'll be gone to college soon enough, then he'll be out of your hair. I bet you'd like it better if I was the one leaving instead of your beloved son. I'll show you. And speaking of college, have you seen the price of tuitions at these places his mother's got him applying to? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what Catherine is thinking, but I mean, it's not like he's a straight-A student. Here it or a comes star again. Nobody's gonna get Treating my own son like a second-class citizen. And second-guessing me. Terry asked me if he could go to an Ivy League school. I told him that if he could get in, he could go. And you didn't ask me about it? What are you, delusional? Your wallet is not fat enough to cover those kinds of tuitions. What is it, a guy thing, always acting like your wallet is bigger than it is? Well, Earl, your wallet is not big. I am not going to argue about this. Told Terry he could go if he gets in. Catherine and I discussed this and we decided it was okay. Catherine, you talked about this with your ex-wife instead of with me? Ha! Now you know how my son feels when you dump on him. You know, sometimes I think it's too bad that she's the ex. Kick the knife in. Go ahead. Mommy dearest taught you that, right? Or was it the 